Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4. Look at Kate, she's so cute. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're gonna go rescue Vadim, hopefully. It sounds like we have to go ask Travis where he Everyone might have been taken the by these men. Um, I'm a little... I'm wondering if Travis is hey, getting down with his... Up from Quincy? New girlfriend. We might walk in on him. <laughs> Could be a little awkward. I guess I should have gone this way. I'm telling you, it ain't just a story. University Point, that settlement on the coast. Okay. Oh, we're going over here. This is Travis's house, I guess. Diamond City Radio. Okay, that's Travis is the radio guy. Hey there. What's going on? Hey, um, have you seen Vadim? He was kidnapped. There's been a kidnapping. It's Vadim. Don't... Don't say things like that. That's not funny. Uh, it's not a joke, dude. Do you think this is a joke? Ha <laughs> Wait, what? Really? Oh... Oh, man. Wow, is this... This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... It's my fault. It's not your fault, it's mine. No, Travis. This is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Kate oh, disliked come on. that. <laughs> they would have walked all over your sorry arse forever. Look, I don't I don't really I mean I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing or in trouble or whatever, then I'm gonna help get him back. Okay, um, you know what, dude? I don't know if you're you up really for that. You really think you're capable of doing what needs to be done? You're talking about... about killing people, aren't you? If... Yes, I'm talking about killing that's people. that's what it takes. I've heard enough to know they're probably holed up at the old Beantown Brewery. We've got to go in there, show them we mean business, and, and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll... I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. Okay. Meet I'm Travis at Beantown right Brewery. Okay. Scarlet's here. Hey, Scarlet. Scarlet. I'm on a break right now. Okay, if that's what you want to call it. I think you were getting on a break with Travis. <laughs> that was... <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Alright, so I hope Travis doesn't die in this I'm on a break fight. Right now. Uh, hi. Because uh, that would be pretty terrible. Hope you didn't run into any trouble getting here. That bridge across nope. the Nope. Oh, sorry. I'm walking on sleeping people. Gosh, I'm rude. So rude. Okay. The Bean Town Brewery. That is outside of town, I believe. Is it? Where is Beantown Brewery? Right here. Oh, I've cleared. I, it says I've cleared Beantown Brewery, but maybe not. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be people there for the quest, but. <laughs> Holy shit, Rad Scorpion. You know what? I haven't actually encountered. Uh, Emperor Scorpion into the Deadly Rad Scorpion, one of the Wasteland's fiercest predators. Beware its claws and poisoned stinger. Yeah, I haven't found any Rad Scorpions yet, which is kind of weird because they're usually like a pretty common enemy in most of the Fallout games. I know they're out there. I mean, I, well, this this screen is kind of a a giveaway for that, but... Um, I've also heard from other people that they are in Fallout 4. And somebody was, one of my friends who does melee combat only, um, was been punching them to death. <laughs> which is kind of silly. Okay, we can fast travel to the brewery. No need to walk up there. Yeah. It's going to be a pretty boring walk anyway. 
cooking station. You can use the cooking station to create recipes from the various ingredients you find, like wild plants and meat from slain creatures. Whoop de doo. Power armor can be enhanced with a variety of mods that add specialized functionality like jet boost, Tesla damage field, and wickety wickety whatnot. <laughs> so I didn't get to read the rest of that. Okay. Let me check my weapons here real quick. See which one I want to use. I've got 109 bullets for the pistol. Got a lot for the sniper rifle. Wow. Um. Combat rifle I have. Okay. Let me try this combat rifle. I think it's probably pretty shitty, but why not? Yeah, it doesn't look too bad, actually. Hi. Hey. Oh, thank God. You're here. Think I so wouldn't this show? Is it. Odds are, if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're. We're gonna be okay, right? Yeah, we're gonna be fine. You probably should have uh, worn Just some armor, keep but a cool you know. Head, okay? Don't think about it too much. Okay, right. Sure. Yeah. Isn't thinking I hope you too have a much gun. what got you into this mess in the first place? Any uh <laughs> any last minute advice? I've never done anything like this. Oh boy, yeah. Stay fucking behind me. First, and you stay behind me. Watch my back. Okay. In fact, Whatever if you don't you come say. in at all, I don't give a fuck, you know. You don't have to come in at all. You should probably just stay outside, dude. Lord. <laughs> I mean, thinking about it, Lonnie went from, like, being a housewife. I don't... It, it's unclear what job you had before you... Before the bomb went off. Okay, the body. Alright, this is just gonna be the raiders I killed. Okay, that thing, I remember that scaring the crap out of me before. Ugh, are you kidding me? It stinks in here. Yeah, it stinks in here. That's damn fucking right. But yeah, Lonnie could have had any job, I guess, before the bomb, but it seemed like she was an ass kicker because she came out of the vault like kicking some damn ass. Okay, here they are Someone over here. here. <laughs> Alright. Hey! This is gonna be a piece of cake. Yeah. They had one guy... You one guy guarding you? I wow. Okay, sorry, Bull, but, uh... Don't leave anything behind greaser jacket and jeans. You know what? I'm gonna take that. That's a cool outfit. Oh yeah, Tower Tom. That's right. He was here last time. Did I miss anything? I did. Ooh, pocketed shadowed combat armor chest piece. I am going to put that on. I'm not sure if that was here before. I just have a metal chest piece on. Damage resistance 17, 12. Yeah, this is definitely better. How does that look? Put my gun away. Oh, I got a nice big target right on my tits. <laughs> um, okay. Well, it looks pretty cool. It looks like it's gonna be uh pretty good. Okay, Vadim. Thank you. You're looking kind of creepy. I'm gonna come would down come. there. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you, thank you. You are a true friend. All right. Are there any more guys watching you? It seemed like there was just one. Are there more of them? Are they going to come after you again? No, no. This was best they could do. <laughs> wow. You got them. <laughs> These idiots had caps and chems just lying around. <laughs> they, they did not notice when I filled my pockets. Wow. You deserve what I took. I am okay. I am super. Surprised to see you here! <laughs> <laughs> Travis. Hey, Vadim. I'm glad you're safe. How did you get roped into this? I, I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. <laughs> you are full of surprises, my friend. Man, 
Wow. What a day, oh, Okay. Huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. Uh, it's just another day for me, this really. Is just another day for me. Yeah, I'm sure. Not me, though. After all this, I think about the things that had me worried so much, and it just seems... silly, you know? Like, was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you. Alright, confidence man is complete. And are you gonna go home, buddy, or what? Gonna hang out here? Okay. Alright, so... I'm gonna boogie on back to Diamond City. I guess we actually don't need to go back there for anything, because... But let's go back and, uh, <coughs> see if... What's his name? The other Bob... Bobrov... Brother will give us any, uh, sort of reward or thanks for getting his brother back. Prepare for the future! Right into the vault. Yeah, it's totally an orderly line while mushroom clouds form in the distance. <laughs> Children and adults look at their perfect... Her green dress is amazing, but I love that style of dress. Like, I, I wouldn't wear it because it's just... It's actually kind of, depending on what you've got, petticoats or like tool that's under your dress, it can get kind of itchy. And it's just like damn annoying to have that many, that much fabric surrounding you, but I love the style. In fact, I'm going to put on Agatha's dress. Carrying too much. Oh, I guess my... I guess my armor gave me a strength, um... Hey, or actually, I'm, guess I guess I'm carrying it instead of wearing it, so now... Uh, I don't know. Do I have junk? No. Let's give her some extra weapons. I got an extra missile launcher I can give to her. Yeah, this dress is pretty damn amazing, and I don't need to be wearing a helmet while I have it on either. I'm pretty sure that that armor must have given me a strength boost, because I don't know why, I took it off and suddenly can't carry stuff. I like the dugout in here. Um, it's pretty neat. I wonder if I still have my room rented. I could rest for another hour. And they still haven't cleared that body off the floor. Kinda... Kinda nasty, actually. Oh, no. Whatever it is, it's keep Scarlet. it to yourself. Hey, I'll take your Get order whenever you're ready. Nope, I'm just, uh... Oh, I can ask her about Earl Sterling. Let's do that. Did you work with Earl Sterling at all? Oh, yeah, Earl. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, I know I shouldn't speak ill of the missing, but that guy needed to get out more. You'd think a bartender would be yeah, smooth, you know? Charming? Not Earl. He tried so hard, too. Way too hard. The real sad thing? He thought it was his looks. Kept talking about getting a new face over at the mega surgery. Wouldn't have helped. Uh, anyway, I gotta get back to serving drinks. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't really need any drinks. Not right now. All right. Okay. May on his damn speeches. Watches. We give thanks to the wall. What a joke. Hey, I'd rather be on this side of the wall than on the other side, you know? Travis. Oh, that's not Travis. Just got the same coat as Travis. Alright, I don't see what's his name in here at all. There's Vadim. Have a nice day. Okay, do I still have. Yeah, I do. Okay. Sleep for another hour. Maybe I should just go. It might be better than going to sleep every night wondering if I'm gonna be there when I wake up. Leave the wall? 
What are you, nuts? You wouldn't last an hour out there. Drinks! I'll take my chances the on finest the liquor moonshiners can grow right here. Where's your brother, Vadim? Just buy or sell whatever you need and get lost. Huh. Guess he's not here. Maybe he's in here. Nope. Oh, there he hey, is. Theme. Just don't throw up all over my floors. <laughs> he does not give a fuck. Okay. You could at least say thank you, you know? Lost? You're in room two. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's not even Everyone grateful. Just buys the beer. Not but even we grateful. Plenty of other drinks if you're feeling brave. So I don't know if I found out anything useful about the disappearing act. Search his house for clues. I can go search his house again. I didn't find anything in the house, but I must have missed something, because that's like the only thing to do. Unless, um, it's possible that I just need to have Nick with me for this quest. Jeez, lady. I like guns too, but you think you might be overcompensating there? What, me? I'm not, I don't even have a gun out. <laughs> or are you talking about these guns? I say, flex in my arms. I bet he is talking about those guns. <laughs> All right, let's see. Is there anything we missed? I mean, my goodness. I just don't see anything that would be a clue. Cigar box. He's got a radio. He's got Gwinnett Brew. Seems like the regular stuff to have. Cigarettes. Really not seeing anything upstairs. We got a bed and light, cigarette machine, dresser, yeah, military cap, and uh, oops. Pipe rifle. I mean, we can take all the stuff in his... I guess we could try sleeping in his bed. I guess why not? <laughs> no. Don't see anything in here. So either we need to have Nick for this quest or it's like a busted quest or something. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to give up on that quest for now. Not really sure what else I can uh I can do. And I think next we will head well, we could go to the glowing sea. Um but I think what I might do is let's do the troubled well. Oh, the bloat fly quest. Yeah, we we should probably do that. I'll put my armor back on. Bolt suit. There we go. All right, go get a bloat fly gland. I've only seen one of these Yao Yao Gui bears. I'm sure there's more out there. Man, that first one I encountered though, what a fight. What a fight that was. I think now I could probably take it pretty easily. Got myself leveled. Got myself trained. I 
That seems like it should be self-explanatory. Stay low and slow to effectively sneak. Gee, you think? Drinking from a water source is always a tactical choice. You will usually restore lost health. But you probably get radiation. I assume that that's what that said. I think I'm going to use this combat rifle till I'm out of ammo. Alright, what? Oh. Oh shoot. Did I just kill Oh damn it. <laughs> I thought that turret was gonna start firing at me. And then I realized nope, that's the fucking Okay. Oh man. It'll be amazing if I can get away from Diamond City without them all fucking tearing me to bits. Okay, where do I go to get this gland? I don't even... Oh man, I might not be able to do this anymore, because... It's not marking a specific spot. I don't know what happened to the bloatfly gland that I picked up. Oh, did I give it to... Hey, need something? I think I might have given it to Kate. There it is. Okay. Well, I'm glad I realized that before I was wandering around for nothing. <laughs> oh, that makes a lot more sense. Okay. I guess we get to dissect it. We don't even have the full bloat fly, just the gland. There's some power armor. Wow. All right, we'll go back real quick to the science place and see what they You want your meat sli Can slice the meat my damn self, huh? Whatever you want, I ain't got time. You look like you could use a Dr. Duff handles all the visitors. Bother her. Okay. I don't recognize you. Something I can do for you? You don't recognize me? What? Don't you remember me? <laughs> no. Can't say I do. Did you need something from the science center? Um, I brought the bloat fly gland yeah, back. Yeah, I have this bloat fly gland. You asked for it? Oh, the field trip, of course! Oh, wonderful! You're not even looking at me! <laughs> These glands are Rude. definitely the product of adaptation to radioactive exposure. Maybe our own insides have adapted as well. <gasps> Wouldn't that be something? Here's a little reward for my new junior scientist. Payday. Hell yeah. Wow. Okay. I am not sure what to think about those people. They're a little bit loony. Um, I think I'm going to end this episode here. It's been kind of a short one. But probably need to have a break, get myself something to eat. And so I will see you guys in the next one. I think we'll actually go join up with the Brotherhood, and I'll let you know why in the next episode, but I think they'll make pretty good allies. And I'll also see if I can fix this graphical thing. I hear you've been asking so, questions around town. Thanks what, for, uh... Diamond City's got two private dicks now? Yes, two private dicks. <laughs> so thanks for watching, and I hope you're enjoying.